So I hope you all are having a great day. In today's video, I am going to be doing a swipe. I've got my swipe tools here. I have got a hexagon canvas and um, I think it's a 12 inch. I threw the paper away, <laughs> but I think it's a 12 inch canvas. And as you can see, I've got it on my spinner. And I think I may have told you guys in the past, but for those of you that are maybe having a little bit of trouble with your canvas flying off of your spinner, I have these silicone mats. Um, they work really, really great. Now, if you're really gonna spin it hard, hard, like crazy hard, <laughs> Nothing's gonna really hold it down um, unless you like super glue it on there. Um, but generally, um, for as hard as I spin it, it stays in place really, really good. I do have the link in my description to those if you're interested, as well as the um, cake uh, turntable. I love this one, it works great. I also, real quick, um, I cover it. I don't know if you can see, um, I've got it covered with. Um, glad press and seal this stuff works really really good and um, you can just rip it off once it gets yucky and then um, you know recover it so it kind of keeps your spinner fairly clean all right so let's get to the painting what I'm gonna do first let me go over the colors really quick I've got my cup of white here and I mix two whites together um, artist loft flow acrylic white with uh, Liquitex Basics um, uh, Titanium White. And I, if you guys have watched me before, um, I have always used that mix, so I've never really had trouble with with crazy, crazy cells like some people have been having with just the Artist Loft by itself. So that's how I've always done it like that. You could also just use the Liquitex Basics Titanium White by itself. It works uh, just as good. I've also used Lucas White, um, Master's Touch Titanium White. So, you know, there's plenty of options for you to choose from. So on to the other colors here. Now this one is a purple you can see I've got <laughs> written down. I was just mixing up a bunch of purples and the first one that I used was or was from Liquitex Basics. It's purple gray. And then I decided to add some Blick um, Deep Violet. I actually think I started with the Deep Violet and it's empty and it didn't make a lot so I started adding some other purples to it. And then this one is from the Fine Touch and it is Violet. So it's actually a really pretty uh, purple. And then this next one here is from Soho and it is Mineral Blue. Um, I just did a recent video with that. It is such a pretty, pretty blue. Um, and then I will tell you, this one is um, Love This Iridescent uh, Green Yellow from Pebio. And then this one here is new, at least new for me. It is from Daler Rowney, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, because I've not used this brand before. Um, it's Thalo Turquoise. It's super, super pretty. So I cannot wait. I did a couple test um, tests on, on my tiles with, with it, and it uh, looks super, super pretty. And I did buy um, a few other colors, so I'll be testing. I'll be doing a, a video where I'm using just all of those colors and uh, see what happens. And then I've got my white cell activator and that is from Amsterdam Titanium White. And I mixed that with the Amsterdam one table, or excuse me, one teaspoon of that with three tablespoons of Australian Floetrol. And it works like a charm every time. Have, have had really good luck uh, with that recipe. Now you can also, if you can't get your hands on the Australian Floetrol or you don't want to spend the money because it is a little bit pricey, um, you can use American Floetrol and add some Varathane pre-stain wood conditioner or Minwax also makes it. Now if you use the American Floetrol, you are going to have to add some water to that so just be aware because the Australian flow trout is it's thinner so I'm just putting my white down and um, 
I'm already starting with a big <laughs> mess here. Why not, right? It's gonna be fun, fun times here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put put some of my cell activator, because I think, and of course I got that on there. Let me get my tweezers. It's always great to have a pair of tweezers handy as well. Um, stuff gets everywhere sometimes little specks of stuff so what I use is a cap um, I think it was from my husband's gelato that he likes to eat so I usually just put a little bit of my cell activator in there and then I can dip so because I'm gonna use I think well I'll probably use all three but I'm gonna start out with this bigger bigger size all right so just gonna go ahead and start putting my paint on Alright everybody, here we go with the dried photos, and I really like this painting. I think it is simple, yeah, it's really super pretty. I love all those colors. You can see the shininess to it with that lime green. I've got a bunch of different shades of purple, so I really like it, and I would love to hear what you guys think, so leave me a comment below, and don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel if you have not already, and then make sure you click the notification bell. That way you will be notified when I upload all my new videos. Also, if you'd like to help out my channel, you can go ahead and share this video with someone that you think may enjoy it.
And if you're interested in the swipe tools that you saw me use in today's video or any of my other 3D printed acrylic pouring tools, go ahead and check out acrylicpouringtools.com. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed my video today. I have a bunch more videos that I know you will enjoy as well. And I will catch you in the next one.